Hey everyone, and welcome back to Paranautical Activity. Let's, uh, random our way to victory. Bouncer, oh boy. Okay, apparently I have finally used every weapon, even though I've definitely picked these up before. Nice, a compass in the trap room. Well, this is, uh, hopefully the dream. So the bouncer, of course, starts off with only armor and no, uh, red health. You just climbed the... How? I didn't even see you. Oh well, that's unfortunate. Can you be dead? Thanks. And you also start with uh, the converter. Man, I'm gonna be sad when I die this run. Yeah, converter. To convert your super ammo into drops. Money, etc. No, stay out of my face. You're really fast. You're... Pretty average of strength. But this is where I start getting super ammo. Hopefully, armor and health as well. The flat cannon, of course, has bouncing projectiles. Fall faster. Means I hit the ground and can get uh, my jump going again sooner. Okay, if I don't die to Doby, this is great because this gets me six health. but I don't hold out like a fantastic amount of hope for not getting dead. All right, though. Look at these homing shots. Okay, that's good. Build one by accident. I was like, aren't there three? There are three. You know what, I should just kill you. You're almost dead. And since I'm really fast, I can afford to take uh, Blubber without worrying too much. So of course you also start with no resources whatsoever besides your four armor, since you're uh, going to convert all of it anyway. Which kind of sucks, but... Same time, we're, we're doing alright now. Doby is of course the perfect first boss for us. By the way, the flat cannon gets three bounces. Hey, scissors on the first floor is, uh, really, really good. Like, that's the RNG I'm talking about. Alright. Of course I want to make money quickly. Okay, good. And of course, I'd like to see what's good in the shop. It's hopefully everything. Well, actually, hopefully things I can afford. With or without scissors. Battery pickups are really valuable. Because those all give me 100 super ammo. Or set me to 100 super ammo. Which gives me a lot of resources. 50 resources. Everyone knows that I need 50 resources all the time. Let's check you out. Shop. Flipper's not necessary for now, and I can't afford it even with um, the scissors, so I'm just going to ignore here. Flipper's good at, like with uh, other stuff, but I already have the flipper effect, essentially. Now I'm just going to gamble until the ghost, I guess. And then we're going to go from there. Oh, all right. Sounds like the ghost. All right, then. Let's go. I'm not the fastest, but I'm also not the le least healthy, so we're going to be fine. All right. I wouldn't have minded having a little more time to gamble, but it worked out fine. First couple floors, I expect to be able to do every single room without worrying about time at all. So I'm doing it. Man, I miss when Gilead's always dropped tons of loot. I miss when everything dropped tons of loot. 
Those were the days, man. Bad, bad shooting, bro. All right, what hot feet again? Weird. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll use it. Sail so that I move faster while I'm in the air. That's cool. Can be here. And poison bombs so that my bombs deal poison damage. Well, they poison enemies, which deals poison damage. Good? Also good. Not good. Skipping. Of course, I don't really care about the bomb box, though maybe I should since I don't have that many bombs. There you go. Threw that bomb right in your mouth. Your fat, ugly mouth. Alright. Now let's try and save some bombs. And I'm going to see if I happen to get a lucky uh, reroll, so I'm not going to pick that up immediately. I'm not picking up Mario in general. Though actually it does have utility. Since I could spam it, I'd move really fast, but it's really just kind of jarring to watch not 100% pleasant, basically. Did I actually blow that up? No. Seems I didn't. Alright, so let's see what weapons I can get. This is another reason that um, dice pickup would be really, really good this level. Since there are two weapons here, I don't have to pay for them even. They're just there for free. They could be super weapons or regular weapons. I'd prefer them both being regular weapons that I have good options regarding. But it doesn't matter. They are what they are. Pistol, grenade launcher. Grenade launcher, obvious choice since poison. And uh, that makes Skeleto's soul a lot better of an option. I end up picking up this weapon a lot, it seems. But I don't control the RNG that makes me lucky enough to get it all the time. Give me the dice. You can do it, dude. I believe in you. I think that's part of the song, not the ghost. All right, you're my last chance, buddy. And no luck. Blew myself up. Need bombs? Kind of. Well, I'm moderately disappointed, but not surprised. That's the best way of putting these things. Oh good, we've got this this floor effect. So now my movement's really weird and slippery and stuff. I don't understand the point of this. Thanks for the lack of control over my character. Like, hey, let's find an excuse to make the controls less good. I feel like sometimes even my sensitivity feels like it's more slippery, but I don't think that's part of it. I think it's literally just movement. Can't imagine why it would be anything but just movement. Keg, health up by three, full health. The full health aspect can be a bad thing. You know what, I'm just gonna beeline for all of the good stuff right now. See if maybe uh, later I care about backtracking for stuff. Ugh, I got too stuck. Thanks to this stupid curse thing that I, whatever it is, it's a curse, it's a floor curse. This, ugh. Like, this isn't even a double-edged sword. That's the thing, dark levels are a double-edged sword. Like, they're really good, but they also take a lot more time, usually. 
and are kind of just unpleasant to play. These, this just isn't fun and isn't good in any way. So it sucks that I'm fighting this boss. Join it here on your head. Cool, thanks. So I'm not going to be taking Scubalian's shell because it's a garbage, garbage item. Turns all of my bombs into those shells, which makes them significantly worse. Uh, yeah, I'll take Heart of Gold. Tesla Coil. Uh, that gives me the ability to hold up to 200 Super Ammo instead of 100. And uh, batteries will now take me to uh, 200 instead of 100. Which means 100 pickups from the uh, converter. Alright, this sucks so much. Alright, that's good. Just gambling for good stuff. Eh. I've explored everything that's like really important to explore. Just looking for loot right now. Man, not having luck this arcade. That was a lot of stuff though. Ghost is between me and the boss right now. Oh, there's a re-roll, that's nice. Dang it, game. You know, I'm just gonna use it. <sighs> Last one. All right. I know to quit when I'm not lucky enough. God dang. And I figured the ghost would be here shortly. Did I take the mini boss item? Yeah, it was the keg. Sure, respawn in the uh, spawn room. Should I die? At full health. Oh, good, having proper control back. We should be uh, really in business right now. All right. Starfish is honestly not something that I care about usually, but every once in a while it'll be useful, I'm sure. I would love to get Davy Jones' locker. I really would. I will buy gum. My bombs will now stick to things. I need like three scissors pickups here. Okay. Oops, got stuck. Good. Oh, you're almost dead apparently. Thought you might like to know that. What would three scissors pickups take that too? Oh, that'd be really cheap. I only really need two. But hey, three? That'd be great. Two would take it already down to 300 bucks though. Be more than plenty uh, cheap enough. All right. Got no shot, buddy. Okay, I didn't actually get to see that, so I was really worried that I just picked up something terrible like Chosen One. But no, I just got a movement speed up. I don't have a double jump, unfortunately. Alright. 
Poseidon. Gives me a random item or the trident. I don't know the chance of the trident now, but it's improved from where it was. I don't really want it this time, because then I'd have to take it, but I will take it. Okay, didn't get it. Lipper. Shots bounce. I don't know what I got for that. Ouch, I hate that room. Not doing it. It is really, really nice having the uh, layout of the floor, though. Completely. All the time. Oh, do I have assault right now? Yeah, that's what it was. Alright. Just gotta see what this one is. Again, scissors, man. I just need some scissors. Nice. Can you fall down? Thanks. I didn't hear the sound, so I don't know what it did. Did you scissors it? Wow, it actually did. 625, I can't pull that off with what I got. I need another pair of scissors, man. Wow, that was unfortunate. God, dude, I am just not moving well. Okay, I'll get my heart of gold back. I just stuck you in the butt. Ghost already? I can. I gotta go. So close to being able to get Davy Jones's locker. Buddy, I need this. Hope you don't mind. Nope, I'm leaving. That sucks. I was I was gonna be able to pull that off, but I just didn't have the time. That'll be the first time I pick that up, of course. Good, easy kill. I need more damage. Okay, gotta pay a good amount of attention to my health as it is dwindling. I love the way my jump works with Anchor, because it actually kind of makes your jump higher, as strange as that seems. You fall faster, but like it kind of gives you a higher peak. It's uh, you kind of get up ledges instead of not getting up ledges, and very interesting and strange. And I'm cool with it. All right, now we in business. I've got all this money that I don't have anything to spend upon. All right. I'll take a armor box. Gotcha. Now to the shop. Oh, thank goodness. Well, there goes my armor box. Oh well. Yep, cherry bomb, which makes my bombs explode into other bombs that, uh, you know, do full damage and everything. And magnet, which means I don't have to hunt down loot, it'll all just come straight to me. I really need powder keg, and then I got the build for the grenade launcher. That's dice. So, damage up there, that's great. I'd also very much like to have... Oh, I am really killing myself right now. 
I'd very much like to have uh, the thing that makes me immune to bombs, blast shield. That'd be great. That was quick. Had to get their loot real quick. I've got nothing really to reroll right now, which isn't a big thing that I care about a lot. I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna use the heart. Be on my way. Finally got a damage up at least. Uh, what floor am I on? Six, okay, fight the boss first. All right, done. Oh, good. All right, let's just chuck bombs in here. This will get us liquid immunity, which is very nice. Oops, need to shoot these farther in. Just tanking that, I don't really care. Cause I can't, I can't do really any, like anything about that. So I'm immune, I'm immune to liquids. That's great. I'm still not gonna favor rooms with liquid in them because they're still tedious rooms to deal with most of the time. Oh, you just got yourself killed, you loser. Jump into explosives. Good plans. Is this? Whoops! <laughs> kind of what I thought. That's not possible that that's the angle that I caused that to go at, honestly. What? Did you get out the? How did you get out the door, you loser? How did you even do that? Well, there's Blast Shield. Now I can just truly bomb whatever I want, walk wherever I want. Just live my life however I want to live my life. This is great. Now I just need Powder Keg. Rocket Launcher. All right, reroll. Oh, ho, ho, all stats up, you say? I would like to get that blowfish. All right. Double damage and fire rate. Holy reroll, Batman. More important, more necessary. You know, I just probably don't need double damage and fire rate with this build. All right, I don't have a lot of time. So just give me continually good rooms like this. All right, let's go. Dang, dude. Beautiful. My movement speed is so good right now. That gives me another 100% uh, poison damage, so now I'm doing twice as much poison damage as I would be, because I have poison bombs as well as this. Um, I'm just gonna go, you know? Everything's going all right. Dude, when I jump, I just, I, I feel so good about my movement right now. Alright. I also feel like right now, um, if I'm in a situation like that, I kind of get a double jump. Because I perfectly land up there due to uh, anchor. And really good things happen. Oh, 
All right. Hey, buddy. Let's see what you got. What's you got? Ghost? I wouldn't mind, but I don't have that kind of cash. Oh yeah, this nerd. Hanza's pistol. All right, now's the time to reroll piece of eight, speed and damage up. Powder keg, powder keg, powder keg. No powder keg. Well, I'll pick up that mystery box. Maybe it'll have powder keg in it. He just kind of started flying and that's not fair. I can only fly a little bit sometimes. No, oh, bucket of tar though. Eh, sure. <laughs> I'll use beautiful, beautiful hearts. Totally necessary. All right, fight the boss. Eh, sure. Just chuck a lot of bombs here. I'm sticking bombs to the bombs stuck to other bombs. It's good. So of course while the Ankh is active, I'm fully invincible and stuff. Hmm, I'm thinking that I'm gonna quest to uh, become power. And actually look for rerolls and stuff. All rooms make acceptable arenas right now. No, I can't stick the ghost. Oh yeah, I forgot I could do that. Oh god. Alright, I accidentally did that. Got the key though. So I just need to remember to leave through the proper exit. I like though that I can stick the bomb to the wall and then jump off of the wall because of it. So I kind of gained wall jumping. In this kind of like weird way. Which is totally cool with me. Because I've never even considered that in the past yet. When I have a really high fire rate, I consider jumping off of bombs because my fire rate is high enough that they just keep kind of getting stuck there. So I don't know, man. Wild card. And assault. Hey, money. All right, slow mo. That was, uh, yeah. The timing for bomb jumping is not reasonable to attempt to do as a human without a high fire rate where you just mash space and, well, whatever you have jump bound to. Don't let me impose my space ways on you. All right. Hey, reroll. All right, let's uh, just keep doing rooms while slow mo is up, of course. You bombs, you're not going in reasonable places. I don't understand you. Dude, this looks so cool. Alright. Not gonna worry about actually doing the rerolling yet. Or checking up on what I, what I rerolled into. Because I got more time to check for stuff. 
and another ghost spawns, I'll just kill it. It happens. I love the bomb stretchiness. Every time I'm getting so much slow-mo. Dudes can't look around fast enough, can ya? Here we go. Last room. Dead. Hot feet, which is completely redundant with what I already have. What did the mini boss drop? Oh yeah, a piece of eight, didn't it? to balloon. All right, well, we'll take ghost. All right, let's do this. Ooh, level eight. Imagine if I got the slippery controls mode level eight here. How awful would that be? I don't know if you can. Well, I got darkness, I guess, so yeah, probably. Wait, no, I didn't. I don't know if you can get a floor effect on eight. Wait, I got... I got um, the holes floor once, so yeah, I guess that's probably theoretically possible, which would suck. Ow, 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 ow. Stop, please. You're hurting me. I thought that was a third assault. Alright, let's do this. This is my baby powder keg, except it's exactly the same because it's doubling damage. Alright, no biggie. Let's just keep going. Am I jumping off of... Oh no, I have ghost. I forgot I could fly. Ghost stands no chance. Sure. Get this done even quicker. Clearing the floor because I can. Wow. Power. What did they get? Oh, hot feet. Ha! Of course, Ghost grants me flight, if you didn't figure out. Oh good, scissors. Where have you gone? Alright, I'm trying to kill both of them at once. By playing riskily close to, uh... The one, of course. Ha, Dahlia's mom, you think you're cool? She is kind of cool, I guess, if she can hit me like this. So, I'll just become invincible. No problem. You know, I had a problem with uh, Dahlia's mom being too cool to me, cool for me, so I just became invincible. So much damage. One day I'll get infinite mode. And this is the kind of run that's probably suited well for infinite mode. Well, suited decently. Like, we've got good items, we've got the ability to generate health and pickups and stuff. And we'd only get more items, of course, so...
Yeah, the lag, I love it. Alright, cool. Um Hey. Waiting for ya. There you go. Thanks. Thanks job, buddy. All right. Couple more rooms. Health not flying instantly to me when I need health? That's weird. Well, I got it now. Oh good, another uh, dice pickup. Just in time. Dude, Dolly's mom again. Is that a ghost sound I hear? I don't honestly know. All I can tell is that there are homing shots coming at me, but those are most likely from Dolly's mom. One more room. Oh, this <laughs> this room's cool. And the ghost is here. All right, let's go. We did it. Not that this is gonna unlock anything, but that's okay. And then it stops. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.